have you what I need. Right here, I really need, I really need China, 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 China. China, China. What's up, y'all? It's me, it's Mel with the Lip in the Gap, Mel's a lipstick diva. Can you guess what we cooking today? Oh, you can't. All right, then. We are making homemade clam chowder. What we got? We got some cut up uh, potatoes. We got our bacon. We got our uh, uh, celery. We got our onions. We got our chopped green onions. We got our parsley. We got garlic. We got green pepper. We got salt, we got bay leaves, we got our butter, unsalted. We got our whole clams, baby clams. We have our chicken bouillon, okay, period. We got our clam juice, we got some flour for our roux. We got some heavy whipping cream, and we got some chicken broth, okay? Period, let me get this out the, out the shot, you know what I'm saying? Now, y'all stay tuned because we're cooking all of this in the Instant Pot, and it's gonna be ready in just a short, in a very few minutes, in a short period of time. It's not gonna take us long, so y'all stay tuned. First, we're gonna go ahead and put our bacon in there and let it saute until it gets crispy, and we're gonna pull it out, so y'all stay tuned, okay? All right, y'all, we back. So, you see in here, I cook my bacon up, right? Oh, there go a little piece of bacon that got levels in there. Let me let me take that out. But I took the bacon and set it to the side so it could drain. But I did add in here my celery and my onions and a little bit of butter, non-salted butter, just to saute that just a little bit. Cook it down just a little bit, okay? So we're gonna let that down just a little bit. Y'all might see a little piece of bacon left up in here. Child, it'll be all right. Let me get it out. <laughs> I'm talking about it's gonna be all right and still trying to get it out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it don't wanna come out. Okay, we got that out. Anyhow, y'all get the vibes. So I just cook it down saute it just a little bit. And what we're gonna do after this point, we're gonna go ahead and add in our clam juice. We're not gonna add all of it, we're gonna add a, like half. And we're also gonna add in our chicken broth. I'm gonna add my chicken bouillon and I'm gonna add my potatoes. So y'all stay tuned while we get all of that added in the pot. All right, y'all. We are gonna go ahead and cut it back on pressure. We're going to do pressure five, five minutes. Okay. Now all I did here is I added in my potatoes. I added our chicken broth. I added some of our clam juice. I added some garlic, pepper, salt, our chicken bouillon. Did I always say garlic? I might have, might not. But y'all see what's going on in the potatoes. So we're going to let that cook for five minutes. Okay. And then we're going to release the pressure. Period. All right, y'all. So we have taken it off and released the pressure. I have made a roux over here. I made, well, of course, we got the bacon. We're going to go ahead and dump in our clams with the juice and everything including. You're going to have it on saute because you want to saute, right? Why are you doing this? I'm doing two. I like clams, okay? And we're going to add in our roux, the bacon and our heavy whipping cream. So y'all stay tuned. We are all done, y'all. Look at that. Got our crackers on the side, got some scallions, got our parsley. Yes, let's go. Y'all let me know what y'all think or what y'all add to y'all clam chowder recipe. But it's me, it's Mel with the Lip in the Gap. Mel the Lipstick Diva.